Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Sohil. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is in this video, we will learn the structure and function of skin, layers of skin that is epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. So without wasting time, let's start the video. So first of all, what is skin? So, skin is the part of integumentary system that covers the body. It is the largest organ by mass and size. Skin is also known as cutaneous membrane. So, the skin or cutaneous membrane covers the external surface of the body. It is the largest organ of the body having an area about 2 square meter in adults and weight 4.5 to 5 kg about 60% of total body weight. Its thickness is about 0.5 mm on the eyelid to 4.0 mm on the heels. Now coming to the layers of the skin. So skin is made up of three layers that is epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. Let's see one by one. First epidermis. Epidermis is the outer layer of skin. It's formed by stratified epithelium. It doesn't have blood vessels. Nutrition is provided to the epidermis by the capillaries of dermis. Now, epidermis is formed by five layers. First, stratum corneum. Second, stratum lucidum. Third, stratum granulosum. Fourth, stratum spinosum. And five, stratum basal. Let's see one by one. First, stratum corneum. So, stratum corneum is also known as horny layer. It is the outermost layer and consists of dead cells, which are called corneocytes. The cytoplasm is flattened with fibrous protein known as keratin. These cells contain phospholipid and glycogen. Now second, stratum lucidum. Stratum lucidum is made up of flattened epithelial cell. Epithelial cells have degenerated nucleus and in some cells, the nucleus is absent. The layer look like a homogeneous translucent zone. Third, that is stratum granulosum. Stratum granulosum is a thin layer with 2 to 5 rows of flattened rhomboid cells. Cytoplasm contains granules of a protein called keratohyalin. Keratohyalin is a precursor of keratin. Now coming to fourth, that is stratum spinosum. Stratum spinosum is also known as precal cell layer. The cells of this layer possess some spine-like protoplasmic projection. The cells are connected to one another. Now coming to fifth and last, that is stratum basals. Stratum basal is a thick layer. The cells is made up of polygonal cells superficially and columnar or cuboidal epithelial cells in the deeper parts. Newly formed cells move continuously towards the stratum corneum. The stem cells which gives rise to new cells are known as keratinocytes. Other type of cells that present in stratum basals are melanocytes and Langerhans cells. Now what do you mean by melanocytes? Melanocytes that are scattered between the keratinocytes. Melanocytes produce the pigment called melanin. The color of skin depends upon melanin. Now coming to second that is Langerhans cells which are specialized form of dendritic cells. Langerhans cells are responsible for protective immune reaction. Now after epidermis, there is second layer that is dermis. Dermis is the inner layer of the skin. It is a connective tissue layer made up of dense and stored collagen, fibers, fibroblast and histocytes. Collagen's fiber contain the enzyme collagenase which is responsible for wound healing. Now coming to the layers of dermis. Dermis is made up of two layers that is superficial papillary layer and deeper reticular layer. Now first superficial papillary layer. Superficial papillary layer projects into the epidermis. It contains blood vessels, lymphatic and nerve fiber. This layer has some pigments containing cells known as chromatophores. Dermal papillae are finger like projection arising from the superficial papillary dermis. Papilla contains a plexus of capillaries and lymphatics. Papillae are surrounded by red ridges extending from the epidermis. 
Now second, reticular layer. Reticular layer is made up of reticular and elastic fiber. These fibers are found around the hair bulbs, suet glands and sebaceous glands. The reticular layer also contain must cells, nerve ending, lymphatic, epidermal appendages and fibroblast. Immediately below the dermis subcutaneous tissue is present. Now coming to the third layer of skin that is hypodermis that present below the dermis. Hypodermis layer also called subcutaneous layer. Hypodermis connect the skin to the underlying tissue of the bones and muscles. The hypodermis consists connective tissue and adipose tissue which functions as a mode of fat storage. Now coming to the function of skin. There are lot of function of skin like protection. Skin protect underlying tissue from mechanical, chemical and thermal injury. So the basic function of skin is protection. Then thermoregulation. The skin plays important role in thermoregulation by two ways by liberating sweat at surface and by adjusting the blood flow in dermis. In response to high environment temperature or heat produced during exercise, the skin helps to lower the body temperature. Blood vessels in the dermis of the skin shows dilation producing more blood flow through the dermis produce increased amount of heat loss from the body.